Hi guys, um, I hope you're all well. Today I'm going to be going over the create a landscape assignment with you guys. So the first stuff we're going to need is our materials. So we're going to need a pencil, pencil sharpener, um, an eraser, and then you're going to be going on the internet and finding some different landscape photos you like. You want at least three to work from, but you can uh, go for more. Um, and then you're also going to need some imagination. Imagination! <laughs> Sorry, had to. So, um, here are my three photos that I picked from. Um, I just printed them out. Um, I'm just doing this to demonstrate for you guys. If you want to print them out, go right ahead. But we can also do this in our minds and through sketching. So, what we're going to do is you're going to take your photo and you're going to split each photo into its foreground, its middle ground, and its background. So here I'm doing that with these markers, so feel free to watch me how I'm doing this. I also have the handout for foreground, middle ground, and background from last week. I'm going to attach that um, in our Google Classroom again for you guys to look at. But basically, our foreground is the first third of the drawing horizontally. Um, it's the thing that's right in front of us. It has the most detail, the most contrast. The middle ground is behind that. Less detail, less contrast. And then the very background, which is the farthest away, less detail, less contrast. So um, do that with your photos. And then what you want to do um, after that is take a look at them and then decide which ones you want. You're going to want one foreground, one middle ground, and one background for this project. So here are mine right here. <laughs> um, and then what you're going to do is you're going to place them together, so like a puzzle, to create your own landscape. Haha, <laughs> title of the video. <laughs> um, and so you're going to create your own and put them together and then we're going to work from this collage um, to create our drawing. So right now I'm going to start mine so you guys can see how I start it, how I work on it, and then remember we want to focus always, always, always on value. Um, that's really important here and it is one of our tools for foreground, middle ground, and background to make them appear farther away, closer, um, so like your foreground lots of detail, it's close, you want the most contrast, and then very far away, say like mountains, um, they would be like very light in value, not detailed. Um, so yeah, so follow along with me, with my landscape, with my little kitty in the beginning, I mean in the front, um, and yeah, I hope this makes sense. So here's my finished drawing. Um, you can see that the cat and the grass up close is really detailed. As it moves farther away, it's less detailed. Really makes it look like the mountains are like far away in the clouds. Um, so yeah. I'm going to be sharing more information this week as usual. Thank you so much for watching and happy drawing. Bye.